Hello you guys, welcome back to day six. Today we're going to be talking about weakness. Um, I just want to read three little verses to you real quick. Sorry, my phone moving all slow. The first one is first Corinthians 2 and 3. I came to you in weakness with great fear and trembling. The second verse is 2 Corinthians 11 30. If I must boast, I will boast of the things that show my weakness. 1 Corinthians 1 and 25. For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. Weakness. Whew. That is a scary topic that nobody likes to talk about because nobody wants anybody to know what their weakness is. Because knowing somebody's weakness is having control over them. So everybody fear the weakness instead of instead of trying to figure out how to um, conquer the weakness. That is one thing that I'm trying to learn right now is to conquer my weakness. Right now that I can think of, the two is communication and the second one is my health. Yeah, I've been dealing with some health issues, but I'll talk about that a little later. Um, but I think we should stop fear and weakness and look at it as a challenge to upgrade to the next level to get to the next level um, I have this song I just want you to listen to this little bit and then um, I want to talk about it. Um, yeah, just listen real quick. Oh, don't, I know I just talk, I'm talking about God. Don't worry about how he's saying it because it might have a little cuss words in it. But I want to listen. I want you to listen to what he is saying um, in this song, real quick. Yeah, his pain is what he called his contribution. I feel like that is what I'm sorry, yeah. What Malia? That has number two. I know they got number two. Go away. Never. Well be quiet. Thank you. Excuse me, sorry y'all. But what was that contribution? Weakness. Yes. She almost made me forget. Um yeah, I think our purpose is to share our weaknesses with other people so that way we all can grow. You can overcome your fear and people can learn from uh, that weakness so they can grow. But a lot of us get so caught up in not want to feel I don't know feel like if somebody is 
up a higher level than you, then they they better than you or something like that. It's just you don't learn without any sacrifices. So sometimes leaders have to show their strength and weaknesses more than other people because they're sacrificing themselves to show you that things can be done. Um, we all bleed the same. We all come and go the same. So if one can do it, we all can do it. And so whatever you feel like your weakness is, if you just build your relationship with God like how I've been doing it. He, he's been putting me in predicaments where I have to use my weaknesses um, to keep growing on them so that they become stronger in the end. Um, It's just, it is definitely hard. I'm sorry. I be spacing out sometimes because I just be thinking about the stuff that I've been through and the stuff that I overcame. It's just a lot. You think about how many people could possibly walked in the same shoes I walked in and survived because there's some out here that's not surviving that's probably been through less stuff than I, that I've been through so the stuff the weaknesses is there to make you stronger so that you can learn and keep growing but you got to want to learn. Some people is content with their weakness. And, and it's like, as long as nobody talk about it, it's okay. No, talk about it. See, how can you fix it, grow it, improve it? Be a better you. Go to the next level. It's time to elevate. No more struggle no more just overworking <laughs> overworking yourself killing yourself for what for a job just mm, gonna replace you real quick so I'm trying to elevate myself grow myself grow my weaknesses so that I can um, do what I said I'm going to do, which is be a successful fashion designer. There is weaknesses in that that I also have to improve. It's all about perfecting your skills and yourself to you know, have better protection, know how to, it's sad that we have to be like that, have to build this protection of wall against people because you never know who's out here trying to prey on your weakness. So you got to build this wall and you got to pretend to hide your true feelings whether it's you really like somebody or not but you gotta hide those because you feel like if you show that that the person will take advantage of that and most of the time people will take advantage they think being nice is being weak so everybody walking around here acting like they don't have any weaknesses because they're scared of who may attack. 
and how they may attack. And will they survive that attack? I just wish <laughs> it was an easier way to go about improving the weaknesses because it's so hard. I'm telling you, it's so hard. I be wanting to give up sometimes, but then I look at my daughter and I'm like, I've come too far. I can't give up now. She needs me. And that's why I have also started a fast. Um, nothing but vegetables. And maybe like some tuna like once a week. Um, but mainly vegetables and fruit. Been making like fruit smoothies. Um, and also, I'm going to be working out every day for 30 minutes every day. So, um, because I've been, you know, um, not too many people know, but a couple people know that I've been sick for a little minute. And, I don't know, I guess some people think it's all in my head, um. Or, I don't know, it's something else. I don't know what's going on, but I'm hoping through this fast and this working out, maybe it'll be able to help them find what's going on and heal my body so I can get back to feeling normal because I just haven't been feeling myself. I'm tired all the time not feeling well um i've gained a lot of weight like i fluctuate between 180 and 200 right now i'm like at 180 so i'm hoping by the end of this fast because i started 26 so i've been on it for three days now um i want to do it for a whole month so october 26 I will be weighing myself and letting you guys know that I lose some weight or whatever happens at the end of this fast. But I hope to have lost some weight and get some clarity on what is going on with my body. Because right now, let me show y'all. So y'all can see where I'm starting at. my stomach it's like it's been like this I know I look like I'm like pregnant or whatever I don't know what's going on with my stomach though so I'm hoping by the end of this uh sorry guys I'm hoping by the end of this fast and me exercising that I will have lost some weight and maybe they have they'll be able to see more into my body. Or maybe they'll let me get the little camera thing put in my belly button so they can look inside my stomach and see what's going on. I just want to feel better. I just want to be here for my daughter. Um, it's just, it's hard. Because I feel like I've been complaining about my stomach hurting way too long. Like, I just feel like they should have been stuck the camera in or did some type of surgery to at least investigate. But... I haven't been really getting no type of help for real and it don't feel like anybody is taking this seriously. Um, but, you know, pray for me. I hope it's nothing serious. 
Um, and that I can find a doctor that can kill me. These doctors, I tell you. I got like a love hate relationship with y'all. That's another topic. That's another topic. It's like I know I need y'all, but sometimes that's another topic. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know it's supposed to be 30 minutes with me, guys. But I think I'm going to cut this one short today. Um, I was supposed to have somebody call in, but I had to finish up some homework. And then I had help Malia with her homework. So I kind of got back behind a little bit today. So I was rushing and it's late. I'm like an hour behind most of my audience so I tried to I think my person went to sleep I don't know but I thank y'all for coming in and watching I thank y'all for listening to me I thank y'all for subscribing um yeah pass this along if you know adopt a friend tell them to come watch me maybe they can help me with something I will be exercising if I don't exercise I will let you know you guys know I'm very very honest so I will tell you if I don't work out I'm gonna work out every day continue doing my shakes today I had a beets carrots oranges and blueberry shake. I know that sounds gross. It was a little. It was high. But yeah, it's time to get fit. I gotta get back healthy. I don't. I don't like being sick. I don't ever be sick. So I need this to be over and done. Out of here. Gone. Beneath. And any other kind of way you can say bye bye gone. See you later. I just want to get back to me. Like have energy to do something. I all I want to do is just sleep all the time. And I feel like this God is gonna take my weaknesses and He gonna make them. He gonna upgrade them. Go upgrade me. Somebody help me. <laughs> Ooh, prove me wrong. Somebody out there, doctor. If I ain't skinny, y'all sound fat. If I ain't skinny by the end of this fast, Prove me wrong. I just want somebody to look. Just look into my stomach and just tell me. Ain't nothing in there. Camera. Put the camera in through my belly button. Tell me you don't see nothing in there. And I'll let it go. Then we need to figure out what is going on with my stomach. I don't know. Because my stomach shouldn't be swollen like this. So, please, somebody help me. I love y'all. I thank y'all for coming in. Y'all yeah, like my braces. <sighs> my daughter told me she want braces. She only five. She ain't even got all her big girl teeth. And she told me she want braces. I think she just like spending my money. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm not the camera. Um... But yeah, I love y'all. See y'all. Oh, yeah, see y'all. <laughs>